Happy Tuesday, Bobcat teachers and scholars. Welcome back to another great day of teaching and learning where we will build our brilliance. Because every day we are working towards being brilliant Bobcats. Today we are going to make sure that we are raising the bar and making every moment matter. Let's go ahead and get started with our morning announcements. I'll see you soon. Good morning, Tinicus Elementary students and staff. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which I, it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Bacchat affirmation. Bacchat's a parable. I think positively. I take ownership of my actions. I make wise choices. I am excited about new learning. I will reach my goals. I will forgive others and myself. I am understanding of differences. I am a leader. I am a bobcat. This has been Miguel Nehara and from Miss Carol's class. Remember at Santa Cruz Elementary, every school student counts and every moment matters. Stay tuned for the bobcat broadcast. Now, every day, all of the Bobcats within our Scenic Hill School should strive to display our foundational values. In order to do this, you must think about the three R approach, which is to be respectful, be responsible, and to always be ready to learn. Today, we will be wishing a happy belated birthday to our scholars who had birthdays in May and June. We want to wish a happy belated birthday to Jacorian Roseman, Bailey Perkins, Jada Phipps, Jordan Gaston, Travis Ragg. Logan Hamilton, Mackay Griffin, Caden and Kaylee Carter, Marvelous Milam, Jalen Banks, Jakiria Fleming, Carlia Munjin, Destin Ewell, Raylan Harris, Hope Jefferson, Drew Jones, Jeremiah Craft, Kariah Byers, Liara Sky, Ezekiel Oatman, Shondell Smalley, Messiah Harris, Zachariah Spencer, Jemiah Fisher, Soror Demur, Corey Wesson, Makai Matthews, Jalen McLaffery, Daryl Nelson Jr., Kennedy Lindsay, and Chase Diener. Now, scholars, I need a favor. On yesterday, we missed our new Spanish teacher, Mr. Infante's birthday. When you see Mr. Infante in the hall today, be sure that you point to him and you say, Happy Birthday! Also, celebrating on this day, we want to wish two of our very own scholars a very special day. Happy Birthday, Christian Williams and Alani Bradford. Thank you for coming to school today to share a piece of your special day with us. And we hope that this day brings you everything that makes you smile. Now, scholars, we have just wished a happy belated birthday and a happy birthday 
to a lot of scholars. So I want you to look around the room, turn and point to those scholars. And you know how we do it at the Hill. You want to say, Happy Birthday! In today's school at events and activities, we will be looking for classes who are showing that they are brilliant bobcats. Will you be caught following the 3R approach today? We will be looking for scholars all week who are caught following the 3R approach. Our second announcement is that we are looking for some scholars to audition to become a part of our 2022-23 student announcers. Have you learned our Bobcat affirmation? Do you know everything that the scholars read during the morning announcements? If you know, raise your hand right now so that your teacher can send a message to me so that we can schedule a time for you to record the morning announcements. Our next announcement is that today is National Book Lovers Day. Today I am asking that teachers take a little time to allow students to share their favorite book, the title of their favorite book. I would love for scholars to be given a sheet of typing paper so that they can draw the cover of their favorite book. And if we could post those somewhere in the hall, um, near the restrooms, or on the way to uh, the lunch rooms, or right outside your classroom door, then this will give other scholars in the building the opportunity to look at what their classmates have been reading, their favorite books. It might give us all some other book to read. Are you a 2021-22 attendance superstar? We are about to begin recognizing all of our scholars who had 97% attendance and up for the entire school year last year. Are you an attendance superstar? Let's find out who is in our first group of attendance superstars for last school year. Makai Matthews Attendance Superstar Courtney Walker Attendance Superstar Treshawn Billingsley Attendance Superstar Jakiria Fleming Attendance Superstar James Hawkins Attendance Superstar Peyton Newburn, Attendance Superstar. Caleb Brown, D'Angelo Buckner, Attendance Superstar. And our last Attendance Superstar for today is Jamisha Calicut. We are so proud of each of the scholars who were spotlighted today. These scholars had no less than 97% attendance on last school year. This is phenomenal. We are so proud of each of you.
Angus. In today's classroom spotlight, we are shining a light on our grade two scholars for doing a fantastic job of showing all three of our foundational values of being respectful, responsible, and ready to learn. Keep up the great work. It is now time for us to announce our Brilliant Bobcats from our 2022 TCAP assessment test. Alani Bradford is a brilliant Bobcat for exceeding expectations in reading on our 2022 TCAP assessment test. Naima Ivory is a brilliant Bobcat for exceeding expectations on our 2022 TCAP assessment test in reading. Jeremiah Craft is a brilliant Bobcat for meeting expectations in both science and mathematics on our 2022 TCAP test. Jared Motley Taylor is a brilliant Bobcat for meeting expectations on our 2022 TCAP test in reading. Christian Williams is a brilliant Bobcat for meeting expectations on the 2022 reading TCAP test. Ryan Almanacid is a brilliant Bobcat for meeting expectations in science on the 2022 TCAP test. Malachi Bearden is a brilliant Bobcat for meeting expectations on the 2022 TCAP test in mathematics. And our last scholar for today is Marvelous Milan. You are a brilliant Bobcat for meeting expectations on the 2022 TCAP science test. Congratulations to all of our newly inducted brilliant Bobcats for all of your hard work on our TCAP assessment that we took in late April, early May. We are so proud of each of you. Don't forget to come down to the main office after 12 today to get your wristband and a copy of your certificate so that you can go home and show your parents all the great things that you have done, even as we ended last school year. We couldn't be more proud of each of you. And lastly, I want to thank each of you for making a yesterday a great first day of school. I cannot wait to come around and see all of the wonderful things that you are doing today. Keep up the fantastic work. Teachers and scholars, I hope that you took the time out to read the first day jitters, which was our read aloud book on yesterday. If you didn't have the opportunity to read it, it is only about four minutes long. And I'm really interested. When I see you scholars, I want to know what you are doing to help one of our new Bobcat scholars to feel more comfortable at our school. It is very hard being a new student. Look around the room right now. 
If you see someone who was not in your classroom last year, ask them their name, find out what school they came from, and do something so that you can make sure that they feel comfortable being in our new space this year. Today's read aloud is entitled, The Day You Begin. Beginning something takes a, an extreme amount of courage. So what will you begin doing today? I can't wait to hear your thoughts, scholars, in honor of this national book lovers day i am sharing with you one of my favorite books and the day you begin is one of my very favorite books because each time that i read it i remember how uniquely special i am i hope you like it teachers this book is uh, about seven and a half minutes long so when you have time today please uh, make sure that you share one of my favorite books with our scholars thanks remember every day we're building brilliant bobcats because we are raising the bar by believing in ourselves achieving our goals, and reimagining our future. Together we must believe. Together we will achieve. Together we are real matter 901. How for talk today or teacher learning.